What is up, Grid World? You already know who it is. It's Weverson, Mr. Mustache. Woo. And today, we're gonna talk about the top five books for creatives and artists to succeed. So let's jump right into it. If you're an artist or a creative, and your goal is to turn your creativity and your art into your lifestyle and actually turn it into a business and eventually just turn it into like the thing that you you do all the time for like for, like money you know like if you you know like if you want to like not go to your not go to your job but you want to um, do the fun art stuff that you do and actually be the business that you that you do just stick around check out these books and 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 I see you over there I see your little peepers you know yeah you over there the one that just comes around just peeps around and and looks at all the videos but never subscribes never likes you know what like make sure that if you do like this if I do bring you some value make sure you hit that subscribe button it really really helps my my mustache just just stay nice and pretty you know it just it just helps so Make sure you do that. Let's get right into it. Okay, so here's the deal. If you're trying to become a professional artist, and especially if you're early in your career, there are a couple of things that's very important for you to consider. One is that it's not only about art and skill and everything and things of that nature. A lot of it also has to do with your mentality, how you're gonna approach life, you know, about finding yourself, having good values, and ultimately, just like anything else, it's all about building a business, building the lifestyle and actually designing what what you want for yourself and for your life and reverse engineering and then going for it. So the reason why I picked these five audiobooks, one is because they personally have changed my life and they put me in this path to my professional art career. So let's get right into it. Audiobook number one, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. So this book is mostly about the author, Robert Kiyosaki, growing up in Hawaii and him having two dads, one which was his actual dad and the other one which was his friend's dad. His actual dad was poor even though he had a good job and made a lot of money. His other dad was the rich dad who was a self-made man who owned his own businesses and grew multiple businesses throughout his lifetime. The important principles and takeaways from the book is helping one change their mentality and create a mindset around building wealth, around creating the right habits uh, approaching life and business at a certain way to actually create sustainable businesses as opposed to just living a life of working for somebody else. Book number two, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Similar to the other book, but even more so, this book is really about mindset. What this book did for me was unscramble everything I had in my head about just how life works, about how to approach life, how to get what you want out of life and how to have a healthy mindset and create a foundation for a sustainable lifestyle as far as how to achieve your goals, how to pursue your career, how to create a vision, how to, um, how to build good values. Again, this book is not about art. It's about creating the lifestyle and the systems that you want in your life to, to achieve success. This is all really about just like building yourself from the inside out. Ultimately, what we want as artists and creatives is the ability to just live our lives and create our income through our creativity and the, through the means of actually creating and pursuing our creative endeavors. However, if you don't know how to actually figure out what you want out of life or like or even what type of art you want to do or how to even go about it. You're not gonna have a good foundation to build everything about. You're not gonna be able to build resilience to push through the difficult times. And these books are really about creating a really solid mindset or just teaching you how to be more aware of your mind and your thoughts so that you can achieve whatever you want. These books are actually good for anything. Like, you know, if you just want to be a, a baker or if you just want to you know, fish for the rest of your life. I don't know. I mean, I don't really, I don't really fish. I'm not a big fish guy. These books are not creative books, but they're really good for your mind. Book number three, Crush It and Crushing It by Gary Vaynerchuk. All right. All right. Okay. 
it's two books, but still, they're like the same thing and just sequence. Also, it's my it's my YouTube channel, so I can do whatever I want. If you want to become a professional artist and creative in today's age, you already know social media is a huge part of that. That's basically going to be the foundation of how you market, how you build a personal brand, how you put yourself out there, how to leverage your creativity to actually create the businesses that you want, how to actually get clients, how to actually create the lifestyle of the business that will put you in a direction of, you know, like self-fulfillment and freedom within your own career. These books were amazing. Gary Vaynerchuk, as you know, if, you, if you're not like living under a rock, he's like social media king nowadays. And these books are fantastic for really giving you a general idea of how to use social media to your advantage. How can you hack social media and how can you use it towards what you really love and enjoy in life and actually create a business and a lifestyle out of it. What, mom? I'm doing a YouTube video. No. Okay, I, I love you. Book number four. Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. Finally, this is an actual creativity and art book. Like I said before, the previous books were more about creating the right mindset to actually achieve and pursue big dreams and big visions that you have. If you want to become successful at anything, it doesn't only take skill in the whatever craft you're working on, it also takes a lot of hard work, perseverance, drive, persistency, and consistency. And the previous book that we talked about really helps build a foundation and a strong mindset to actually persevere through everything. Big Magic is actually curated for creatives. The book is about how to actually live a creative lifestyle, how to push through doubts, difficult moments, how to find yourself as an artist, how to manage living uh, a regular lifestyle and working a regular job while also trying to pursue your creativity. Elizabeth Gilbert is a genius. This book has given me a lot of inner freedom in my head to actually pursue my creativity and my art. This book has really helped me eliminate a lot of self-doubt and show me that, you know, it's, it's all attainable just because the rest of the world thinks that art and creativity is something that like no one can make a living out of. No one can be successful or happy as a creator, as an artist. You know, the idea of the starving artist just kind of kills anyone's vibe and energy and dreams. This book really helps the creator, the creative, the person who struggles with making art and the struggles of the everyday um, process of you know living a creative life in an otherwise kind of mundane world where everyone is just focused on just like doing what everyone else is doing and not pursuing something for themselves. Book number five. The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. Most of the book is just about how to actually persevere through all the hardships of actually doing the actual work. A lot of the book he talks about, you know, actually just going to your desk every day, sitting there and just doing the work. No matter whether it's good work, no matter whether it's bad work, just persevering through every day, being consistent, putting in the hard work and just being strong and pushing through no matter what until you achieve that dream and beyond. For me, this book just helped put into perspective that we can achieve anything. And most people typically always fall by the wayside when things get hard or second guess themselves and just beat themselves up when they can't actually do good work and then they stop. This book just helps give you some guidelines and some actionable step on how to persevere through the resistance when you don't feel like doing work. So there you have it. Those are the top five audiobooks for artists and creatives to achieve success. These books have changed my life. I suck at reading. I actually hate reading. English is my second language, not even in Portuguese. I probably can't even read in Portuguese. These books have helped me build the correct mindset and encouraged me and given me the actionable steps to actually pursue my dreams of being an artist and being a creative and doing that professionally. If you like what I'm saying, if you like the books, if this video brought you any value, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the little bell notification. 
and and like and if you feel like you got a lot of value out of this video or if you have a friend that could potentially get a lot of value out of this video please share it share it with them and just tag me and i made sure to link all the books in the description below so make sure you check it out please follow me on instagram at weaver p and on snapchat at weaver p or on the street i don't know i mean like sometimes i, f I follow people like not like that like you know like if they're just walking and i happen to Anyways, I hope you guys loved that. I hope you guys had some fun. And I hope that brought you some value. And until next time, never stop creating.